welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. Today I want to talk about a dating situation that is happening a lot right now. Because texting is the big form of communication at the moment, because we're not sort of visiting each other too much in person. So texting etiquette is really, really important at the moment. And there's five types of texting if you're dating somebody that I want you to make some big changes if this is happening, okay? so. This would be the five reasons to stop texting someone that you're dating or getting to know. So number one would be that they continually do not text you back for hours. Well, you've got a regular communication going with them, you've been sort of bantering, but they take their time. We're talking like, you know, eight hours, sometimes the next day, sometimes two days later. If they're doing that to you, this is more than just trying to be mysterious. This is being rude because you've got a connection and they're they're taking it and putting it on their time frame and what works for them. Meanwhile, you're sitting there waiting for an answer, something you ask them and they're not getting back to you. They con they converse with you, but they're using like one word answers. Yup. K. Hey. Okay. Things like that, that is just, there's no imagination. There's nothing that they're putting out there that shows that they're interested. So you're sitting there being left kind of feeling a little insecure because they've got nothing to say. You're making a really nice conversation with them and they can just barely, you know, press the letter K back to you. Well, over time, there's no substance there. There's nothing with this person. What are you attracted to them about? And, and this is another problem is when you first meet somebody and they give you this great side of them for you know a couple of days or a couple of weeks and then they start doing this where they're pulling back and you start feeling like they're ghosting you or, or it's starting to go that way. This is one thing I suggest that you don't keep texting them. If this is how they're answering you, I would just say maybe it's time to move on from that. Number three. This is my favorite. I'm too busy to text. I'm so busy right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was so busy. I just didn't have a moment, two seconds to text you back. They don't even text you back K. They just don't text. This is wrong. And this is something that you seriously need to put as your number one red flag, especially when you're first meeting somebody. Why are they dating? Why are they contacting you? Why are they on these sites maybe where you've met them if they're too busy to get back to you or to talk to you at all? Next. Number four. Then there's the person that tells you that they're not really interested in a relationship or they're not really interested in you all that much. They like you as a friend, but they continue to text you. They put out this little bait and keep you interested because you might be able to change their mind for them to be attracted to you or to like you. Don't fall into this trap. If they're telling you openly and honestly that they're not really into a relationship with you or having anything with you, then I would just move on. Number five is, is the person who texts you all about their problems, all about their past relationships everything that's going on doom and gloom in their life and how it's so nice to meet somebody who will listen somebody who they can talk to you're not their psychiatrist you're not their sounding board make sure that when you're talking to somebody that you're thinking about dating or you have had a couple dates with that you're not just there as somebody that they want you to fix them to help them make sure that it's a reciprocated conversation because if you're spending every text message talking to them about what they can do to make their life better, it's not a fit for you. There's no reciprocation. So those five things I really would suggest that you pay close attention to in your texting, your dating and texting. And if it's happening on a regular basis, if it happens just once or twice, that's fine. But talk to them about it. If you feel that you can salvage a relationship with these people that are doing this, by telling them that it's bothering you or you want to change that up a bit and they actually listen to it, that's okay. But if it's something that's continued over and over and over again, it's not going to work out long term. So move on to somebody who gets it. 
Okay, thanks for listening to Cyber Sue today. Take care of yourself, stay safe, and please keep your questions coming. And subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.